Welcome, welcome, welcome to the podcast. It's Mr. Ish. We're here at Kips Bay Boys and Girls Club, Cordea Clubhouse. And we got episode number two of our highly anticipated uh, AIM podcast. Last week, I had to shut them down. I wasn't here, so they're missing out. So this is the second episode, so let's welcome everybody. Please, let's give us your name. We weren't short, but that's okay. Just give us your name and your age, please. My name is Doriana, and I'm eight. Oh, I thought you were trying to rap or something. Doriana, she's eight years old. Um, welcome to the podcast. Me? Yeah, you, you're the only other person here. <laughs> My name. My name is Israel, yeah. All right, Israel, you can't, talk, you can't touch the mic. That's it. The mic Israel. is there. Don't touch it no more. Um, so how old are you? Um, seven. I, I'm seven, yeah. How she knows your age and you don't know your age? I, I'm I, seven. Okay, okay. I was about to say so I was six, but I, I was I, seven. I only known him for two years. Okay, well, he didn't know himself, I guess. Um, today's lesson, um, could someone give me a brief breakdown of, uh, of Miss Nicole's class and what did you learn, uh, give me a breakdown of what, what was, was going on in your it class. It was called Francine's tough day and we were learning about honest honesty and wait um there was um a part where she was honest dishonest and very dishonest oh that sounds like that sounds like my whole day today um what about you what's going on what what did you get from the from the story from the lesson plan in the story um in the stalker part um that was a stalker in what? the soccer. Oh, the I thought you said it was a stalker. I said, who was stalking somebody? <laughs> um, in, in the soccer. Okay. In the soccer part, the, her, her friends asked her, how did she do? First, she, first, 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 she said the truth, and she said that she did very bad, and her friends, la- and her friends laughed at her. And then in the second one, when she, when she actually, when she did a little lie, she said, she said that she did good, and then the uh, and the other kids were, were were happy. And when she did a big lie, she she said that she did awesome, and her team won. Ton, her team won the game. And then Binky said, "For she can teach him how to play soccer." That's okay, good. so she she lied a little bit. I mean, she said the truth, and then she ended up lying because. Um, her friends started laughing at her, and she didn't want to get laughed at or bullied and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So she decided to uh, to make it up. So stop touching the microphone. That's all I need from you. Don't touch the microphone. Um, what do you have to say? Also on the soccer part, when Binky wanted to know how to play, um, she said absolutely, but she didn't know how to play. So actually, she was very nervous. Um, so the lesson, the lesson that we got in in the in the story, um, it's very important for what reason? Why is it why is it important for us to be honest? Well, not only with each other. Sometimes we have to be honest with each other. We definitely have to be honest with our parents and, and our st- family. And, and our family is important. Um, so what lesson? How could we relate this to to our regular day? Um, I could relate this to. Um I I sometimes tell the truth, not like all the time, but sometimes I um be uh, super honest. Um, so when my brother told me if I was nervous for um my my spelling test, it was on Friday, and well that day was Friday. And I was very nervous, but then I told him. I you told was, him you wasn't. I no, I told him the truth. Okay. Because I'm honest, and I said I was super nervous because I only get seventies and like other grades. You get set. You get average grades. That's what you're trying to say, right? Yeah. So you was a little, you're a little nervous because because almost all of my friends get a hundred. Okay, well then you all you there's a lot of room. All you have to do is 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 really um practice more and basically I come study. So much, but I can't remember. So maybe you're one of those people that if you write it a lot, maybe that's the way you. Some people are people that when you write it over and over, you get it, and some people listen to things over and over. Writing it, 
and I literally still don't remember. So, how are you gonna say about that? Ah, just asking. All right. Um, I have a question for both of you guys. I'll start off with you though. Um, is there? A, let me see. What What do you learn from the story? And is it ever okay to tell a lie? I learned that is that 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 is okay to to tell people the truth and and it's never okay to tell a lie. It's always good to tell the truth. It's definitely always good to tell the truth. But I'm gonna let you know something right now. I'm a married man. I got children. Uh, I'm just letting you know. I, I know. I'm letting you know my business. You have two. I'm a, yeah, I have three actually. I, I got a son. He's 24 years old. Don't forget about him. That's the love of my life. Um, so I have. Uh, you know, I I'm thought a, that was your wife. No, no, my wife, never see my wife. Don't don't interrupt my story. Um, so I'm a married man, right? And we'll, I'm going to ask the question to myself. Um, is it ever okay to lie? And I'm going to let you know, yes. You understand? I'm going to let you know how. If your mother has an ugly dress on and she says, hey, how do I look in this dress? Ma, you look great. You look great. But you don't want to hurt her feelings. Right? Sometimes my wife got something on that I, I don't really like it. She said, how I look today, honey? Beautiful. Where you got that from? I never saw that. Perfect it looks wonderful 21. on you. It makes your hair look good. You give them a compliment because that's, that's the only time I lie. Because, you know, I don't want to hurt her feelings. I don't like that color shirt. I actually think the shirt is ugly. But that's me. She thinks that what I wear is ugly. So I don't want to hurt her feelings. So I say, yeah, sweetie, it looks good on you. If, it's really, if it really looks bad on her. Then I would say, I'd be like, nah, it don't look good. But so, so in reality, um, for me, I tell little lies, you know, because I, I don't want to hurt nobody's feeling. But that's, uh, but you shouldn't lie definitely to your parents because, you know, it, God forbid, you know, they want to know the truth because your parents are there to help you, and they help. They they also want to guide you through life, so they don't want to. They don't want to, you know, say, oh, my son said this is the truth. This is the truth, and then all of a sudden find out that they were lying. So, so you definitely have to um, tell the truth to your parents. Yes. Anything else you wanted to add? Um. Yes. Go ahead. So, this was um yesterday. Um. We when we were in our second period. Um. When we went to. Okay. It just better be pertaining okay. to. This better be about the story. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's about dishonesty and honesty. Dishonesty. Okay. Uh. Who's laughing? Stop. Don't worry about them. They're not in the podcast. It's just right here. Okay. Um so when we were in cooking, um um the chef was making like um these carrot fries. Okay. And um when she made them and I ate them, I said that they were good because I didn't want to hurt their uh, her feelings okay. because Actually, to me, they they taste a little bit good, but the Parmesan cheese on the carrots, mm. the carrots. It wasn't for you. Yeah. I like Parmesan cheese. On on pizza. It was it was it on? You had carrots or you had like sweet potatoes? I don't carrots, know why I'm asking carrots. about sweet potato fries. Maybe I'm hungry. Huh? Um. Okay. So you so you were a little dishonest because you didn't want to hurt her feeling. They put a lot of effort also, into it. But also, it was delicious. It was delicious, but you didn't like the Parmesan cheese. Okay, um, so that's that's a, a small reason to be dishonest. Um, what else? Uh, let me see. Oh, Sometimes oh. it's okay to lie because you don't want to hurt people's feelings. Yeah, that's that's the only reason I would use it. Like you know, when Nicole tells me this, I'm gonna give you another story. Miss Nicole says, "Mr. Ish, stop splashing me." I'll be like, "Okay," and um, I don't. I I never said I wasn't gonna do it. I just said okay. So you know. She just reminded me that she needed to get splashed in the pool by saying, Mr. Is, don't splash me. And I said, okay. Wait, then I'll walk that? around. This was in the summertime. Then I walk around, and when she's not paying attention, I wet her all up. And I make sure that all her hair is wet so that all her curls come out. And I know she just got her hair did, so she's upset at me. But I never said I wasn't going to do it. I just said, okay. So that's a small lie. So that's the way I deal with it. And Mr. Ish, <laughs> when... Happened? This is also in summer when it's almost like you guys. But I was in a kiddie pool with my um, nephew and niece. And um, when my niece said to not, well, my auntie said to not wet my my um, niece's hair, 
I mistakenly um, wet her hair because there's no mistakes about it. She did it on purpose. Because I I wanted to have fun because yeah. I was I was splashing my fun. hands on the water. I don't understand why people go to the pool and they and they don't want to get wet. Don't go to the pool. Just stay in the stay in the like, stay in the I, shade. Are they like um a little bit like I don't care. I don't care if you got your hair did. I don't care if you have makeup on. I don't care about anything. That's my mom. If you're going to the pool or by the pool or you want to put your little feet in the pool, you are getting wet. Do, 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 my do. boss was pregnant last year. Mm. I still wet her. I didn't care mm. until the point that she said I was going to get fired. Then I stopped wearing her. But before that, she got wet. I didn't care. I wet Wait, everybody. I thought, I thought your boss was a man. No, my boss was Francesca. She was my boss last year. Um, I wet everybody. Nicole could tell you I wet everybody. I don't care who it is. It was freezing out there. It was hot. It was cold. I wet everybody. And to they they affect my money, and then I'll be like, oh, okay, no problem. But there's not too many there's not too many people wait, that could do that. She's one, she's probably the only one that if, could really affect my money. If she has children, she has one child. It, yeah, if she has a child, isn't she supposed to be Mrs. Francesca? Ooh, she is Mrs. Well, you use the you use the word Mrs. when someone is married. Um, we oh, do. She, her, isn't? she is married. No. She's married. She's very married. I was in the wedding. Um, she um, very her, married. Very married. Very married. Um, I spoke to her husband oh, yesterday. She um, she doesn't use her last name here. We kind of all use our first names. Like we don't we don't say we say Miss Nicole, Miss Nikki, um, Mister Ish. You don't call me Mister Rodriguez. Um, so we all kind of use our first names. So Wait. she she didn't want to be called Miss Velez, but you could call her Mrs. Um, Velez if you want. But um, we all call her Francesca. Um, because that's her first name. You definitely sound like my um like teacher. Your dad? Oh. Yeah. Uh, you but, also said I look like him, so your dad must yeah. be a good-looking guy. You should have brought me a picture of him, so we I can will. put it. So we I can will. put it next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> See who's the most handsome. But but he has more like dark hair. All right, don't say that. I'm getting old. Um, I'm that has not. nothing to do with this podcast. All right, so this is the this is the second episode of Aim. Um, how do you guys feel about about this this podcast? Your, Amazing. Your your um, this is your podcast. I'm just here, you know, how to help you uh, help you a little bit with it. But it's yeah. actually, you know, it's actually your podcast. You should share it, be proud of it, um, have your friends listen to it, all that good stuff. Okay, one thing. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you seem to be a little juicy there. <laughs> I'm eating gum. Well, you shouldn't be eating gum now. Now that you get now you now you want me to tell you to throw it away. Okay. But go ahead. Besides the point, now you gonna mess up my it's podcast. In my, it's in my cheek. All right, go ahead. Um, in Francis and Francine's tough. Stop talking. Day, Stop doing that to the microphone, please. In Francine's tough day, there was a a part when she was a a little bit of she was a little bit of dishonesty in herself. Um. So All right, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you off for a second because I'm gonna get back to this point. They, everybody here, and let's be really honest about it. That's the first thing. Let's be honest about it. We've oh, all yeah. told a lie. So let's. Uh, after you told your lie, we're gonna go around the table. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? How do you feel after you told your lie? Because I know you lied about something. You said a little thing, but there was one time in your life you lied. So after you told the lie, let's say you lied to your parent or whatever. I don't know if it's true or not. How did you feel afterwards? Um, I would feel like very bad because I would not want to lie to my parents because they were the one who took care of me. Okay. What about you, buddy? I know you lied to somebody. You lied to your teacher. You lied to your parents. You probably lied to me. <laughs> what? You, yeah, you lied to me when you said you wanted to do this podcast. Wait, what? Stop touching the microphone. Um. So have you ever lied before? Be honest. I see it in your face. I see it in your face. Whenever you had to lie about something, guys. Whenever some someone laughs. What about when it? Not when someone laughs. But what about if your mother said, "Did you do this?" You know, whoever you broke something in the house or something playing around, and you be like, "It wasn't me. It wasn't me." That's that could have been a lie. So, so how did you feel after you told your lie? I felt like. Like I was safe because mommy, because my mommy didn't really know anything about it. Okay, so she didn't have all the information. So you felt that after the lie, you you were okay. You you were okay with it. Um, let me see how about me. Um, after I told my lie, I was okay too. I ain't gonna lie. 
I was fine. I told my wife that that shirt didn't look good on her, I, and I, I mean that that, that it did look good on her, and, and it was and it didn't really look good on her, and I was fine with it because my weekend was okay. I if I would have so told her, if I, excuse me a second, if I would have told her something else, she would have been like, "Oh, well, now we gotta go shopping, and I never got nothing." And da, 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 da. You need to clean your closet, and there would have been a whole bunch of the stuff. So I controlled it by saying, "You look great in that shirt, sweetie." I've never seen it before. Where was that shirt at? You look wonderful. So my lie worked for me. So my lie worked for me. So I'm not saying I'm not I'm not you know being judgmental, but you shouldn't lie to your parents. You should you shouldn't lie. But for me, yeah, I do little lies like that make people feel good. Um, anybody else have anything else to say? There's only like three of us here, so. No, there's four. I know, but she's not really participating I, I in know. it. That's okay. That's all right. People are shy. Then why? Sh- why? People, don't, let's not even talk about that. Let's okay, not talk about okay, the elephant on okay. the table. Um, um, so, so what else? What else? What What do we want to leave people with knowing about the lesson that you did w- about author with the uh, the actual podcast? How what long you, has this been? Why are you cutting me off? To ask me how long it is. Listen to the podcast, and you know how long it is. Um, so, so what did we learn from from this experience from this story? Let's just leave it at that. What did we learn from this experience and from this lesson? Okay, we'll start with you. Um, we we learned that that sometimes it's okay to tell the truth. It's always okay to tell the truth. That I can tell you. I'll give you this one. Now. I'll give you a little sound effects. I haven't give you sound effects. Um, what so about what about you? Um, let's not tell a story. I just want to know. After reading this, after talking about this. How do you feel about about what we were talking I about? Feel being bad honest. For your wife. <laughs> you feel bad for my wife? <laughs> I'll give yeah. you the bomb for that. That was a, that was a good one. Um, you feel bad for my wife. <laughs> she's a she must be a nice one. Mm, all right. Well, I'll um, leave it at that. That's not lying, I, and that's I, not I, telling I, the I, truth. Nah, nah. She's she's a wonderful lady. She takes care of my my girls. She takes care of me too. Um, so she's a wonderful lady. But that's besides the point, but guys. This podcast has been wonderful. We got a whole solid about 18 minutes into okay. it. Um, I know I owe minutes. you a podcast, so don't worry about it. But um, please share it. Please listen to it. Um, next week, do we have an idea what we're what we doing next yes. week? Yes. What, what's, what's next week, Nico? Tell me. Ooh, we're going to talk about being generous next week. So episode number three, stay tuned to it. It's going to be about being generous. But right now, we're in episode number two, which is about honesty. Yeah. And sometimes... I like you guys. Ba, ba, and let's ba, keep ba, it there. Bye. I could be telling the truth or I could be telling a lie. Goodbye. Oh, you rap it? Check, 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 check. You got bars? Nobody, nobody here can rap. That's bye bye, everybody. Nice video. And we're out of here. Episode number two. Aim. Stay tuned.